that next conquest. First ball here, up to this point for the side of Evo's glory, adding Martis in their arsenal means what? They want to somehow contest the early, right? They want to invade jungles, they want to contest turtles as well, and perhaps, possibly, they want to grab kills as well. Can Alter Ego pick up a hero that can peel that early game? I think peel is important, but I think they want to go a bit more aggressive. So just crowd control and more setup, even possibly. Because if you look at their bands, right? The Baxia and the Fredrin, these are usually heroes that are able to just stay in the front, be annoying, survive for long enough. It seems like they have no issue going up against an assassin. They want to make sure that if Van oversteps, they can zone him away from the objectives. And I think that is the main idea. It's going to be Tigreal and Teresa. More setup, Goni, but also the counter, like you said, yep. from the Tigreal. Uh, it's uh, again the carry pick somehow denies the Terizla and uh, Tigreal, but Alter Ego trying to two head the draft. We don't care. Implosion. We don't care. Penalty zone. Is does this work? There's going to be a lot of purifies for the side of Evo's Legends to try to counter that Terizla, but I think I actually like what Alter Ego are trying to do here, right? They have set up for that. Tigreal quite well with the Terizla and even the Vixana. So they're trying to layer their CC over the purifies that they will 100% be expecting from the side of Vivo's glory. Last pick, Fovey's already picked up. Into the XP, they just need a roamer now and they're gonna pick up the Minotaur. An amazing pick here up against Alter Ego to try to face off against that dive. It's a man versus beast in that roamer position. Who will grab a strike first here? Seeing the 10 heroes that will enter the land of Don Arashi. Any final thoughts? Point oh. That is massive. Yeah, Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, yeah, for the first time yeah. ever, season 13, let's enter the land of Dawn for our first match in season 13. Take a look at the birds of MPL ID and let's go to the land of Dawn. Here it is, big match coming up. Alter Ego versus Evo's Legends in the Land of Dawn. Boom. Early mid control is going to really dictate how the pace of the game is going to be. And it already looks like, for Alter Ego at least, they want to utilize that early aggression. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can see here they are trying to exploit that fact. And as expected, Miracle 3 purifies on the board for Evo's glory. Meanwhile, Alter Ego here still just hovering around looking for an angle perhaps. But because of the Mardis pick. It seems like it hinders the aggression. Oh, who gets it? Who got it? And it's Sylvan. Sylvan still get it, still gets that. Fortunately for him, but Rossi is just relentless right here. Trying to get more, trying to be a bully in the early game. That is what Alter Ego can use to their advantage. They have a lot more beefier members. They can push away the members of Evos. We're seeing it already, also early in this game. But what really stands out is the amount of impure, impure rats I'm seeing in the endless, man. There's four of them in this game. Five of things as well, but no, well, not much, uh, not much action here for the first two minutes, if not one and a half minutes. Um, both teams just trying to feel each other, looking for the other teams to perhaps make mistake. But I expect perhaps the first blood will occur in that first turtle. Interesting choice by Alter Ego to occupy this mid lane, bottom side river bush. Rossi Crichton has looking for an opportunity. I don't think the Minotaur no. will be the best Ooh. target, but I think with the damage that they have, they flicker. should be able to at least bait out a flicker. And that they do. They get out a flicker out of Vanstrom, but they lose out on a lot of resources. Mainly, actually, just Taz and Kreitz ultimate. That will be back up in a bit. So Nolan just taking the long route over to path back to the turtle. And he has, he will have that red tree, and he will have that ult coming up very soon. Let's see here, it's a setup though. Rossi jumping in. No oh. Or the coil, but the penalty zone. Cough catches them Ooh. in the back. Bad strong! Oh. Well, Minions Fury slams his hammer down. Kright gets the first blood, though. Able to find one. Demonic Force over to Rossi. Still going to be trying to get more damage onto Pai, who's still going to be able to escape on this Terizla. One more Demonic Force proc is ready for him. He jumps in, but unfortunately, that Astral Sphere does not connect. We do. We're getting ready to get back in the Ooh. game. Oh. That's a new style for 13, man. And let's Sheesh. jump back to the Land of Dawn, right? Minute four now. Ooh, three to one for the side of Alter Ego. Whoa. Otherwise, did anything happen while we were away? Well, whatever did happen, it's 1k gold lead for Alter Ego. That is what they want. And you can see, right, with the tanky members available, having more security because both the Tigreal and the Terizla 
have a way to escape technically when there's such low amounts of crowd control coming in from the side of Evos. So they can just walk into the jungle. Look at Pi right now. He's having a field trip. Mm -hmm. He's setting up camp. Yep, top side has been uh, ignored for now. For the side of Evos, Glory, for what's to set up the next turtle. Let's see, though, who will grab it. Vando already poking around the second turtle. Glory's getting chunked as well by the Cursed Blast. Rossi's holding on his position. Van trying to find the time to use that Mortal Coil to deny the implosion play. The good Astral Echo reveals four of them. Pi still holding on to that bush. Nino, one level down, super red, and Evos. Glory. They're holding on to this turtle still. Pine with the penalty oh. zone now onto the back. Super Red still going to be able to kite back right now as Rossi pops in the implosion. Oh. Only the one member onto Van and they burst him down as quickly as he got imploded. Vildora now jumping back and forth with a demonic force. Van Strong going to be slain by Nino on the Zaman force. Oh. Vildora's all alone, but he has a demonic force now onto Taz, onto Nino. Who is he going to choose? He's not going to be able to do more Vildora. damage as he's going to be bursted down by the likes of Nino. The snipe not connected. One more shot. Taz finds the turtle. Vildora. One HP barely gets out. Who won that? Of course, it's Alter Ego, right? Oh, um, Nino, the Ooh. new style of the LOD. We like it. Let's just jump to the game. Minute number six now. It's five to two kill wise economy. Just two and a half thousand gold lead ahead for the side of Alter Ego. Small beginnings, but they're opening the map now with Pai and Rossi Van. As you can see, just not enough damage. Whoa, that is aggressive from the Sir himself. But now everyone's rotating and I think they'll back away. What was that? That was... We talk about Mind Games, Mirko. I mean, Evos are definitely worried now. Well, Purify, very early Warlord, gonna be chased down under the turn of the Fracture as well, Taz! Takes Whoa. Warlord down, even Van falling up top. Zaman Force will be popped in, Van Strong, three-man Minion Fury. But it's all just a disengage to get Super Red to the safety of his Tier 2. You can see Evos, they are lacking in that firepower, right? As we expect here, as we are about to enter that mid-game. Alter Ego, they don't mind, right? They want to fight. Seeing their power spike, oh. seeing... A good Nolan pressuring you from the sides, from the flanks, kind of corrals you towards a, you know, a more concentrated position, and that's where the Terizla and the Tegriel can really punish that. So, it's a multifaceted approach coming in from Alter Ego. Mm -hmm. You can see here already, all the tier ones for the side of the Lord Glory officially taken out by the side of Alter Ego. They already control the jungles of Evo's glory. Things are slowly starting going bad to worse here. I mean, that's how the snowball works. 5k gold advantage. Taking out of the emblems by Games Max. And honestly, for the most part, I'm still impressed with how many impure rages are available on this game. It seems like Evos in particular are trying to go for a, you know, sustain heavy strategy, use the Minotaur to sustain some damage, and then just slowly but surely chip away the health bars before they go for a decisive fight. That works, but I don't know if they can work as well against two massive engage tools. Three if you include the Vexana. Three level gap two for the junglers. Van is three levels down on a Mardis against a Nolan. Mm. It's definitely not something Dang. you would expect or something you would want actually for the Mardis. I mean, that far down, a 5.7k gold lead, and the Lord is about to spawn. This snowball, what time will Evos need to stall this game to, to be able to actually fight back again? Well, it depends. If all people can deny all the gold income, deny everything in the jungle right here, they're pretty much pr prioritizing clearing Evos' jungle instead of their own, just to ensure that Evos get strangled that much harder. So, the better they do that, the longer Evos must buy time, for sure. I think that was the plan B, and also the contingency, right? Just to drag this game out um, as long as possible. Is all to go, okay? Uncontested Lord, of course, the first Lord. But Alter Ego, they just want to end this game ASAP. Now he's four levels up. Taz, Warlord, if he walks up, he's gonna be dead. Fracture instantly taken out inside of the tier two in the range. Doesn't matter. Holy moly, that damage. Nope, nope, no. Can't do that. Action whatsoever. That was dirty there by Taz. And with the Lord now marching, sure, it's the first Lord. But with a man down, it seems like they will let go all of the tier twos as well. 
And that's what you love from Taz, right? All the way since the beginning of his career. He just knows how to play aggressively, and he's relatively consistent, man. Going for all his risky plays, and still, when it goes south, he is still relevant at every point in the game. Unless it's just way out of control. So with that play right there, you can see Evos, they are fearing for their lives. They have no idea where this man is. Well, we don't. It seems like both teams are just hovering around. Alter Ego, they're trying to suffocate Evo's glory more. Base third passive downstairs, taken out or triggered. But yeah, it seems like Base third here for out of Evo's glory will still be up for now. Oh, the poke down onto Goldora forces him back. Still two waves coming down mid and oh actually bot and top. They're going to be able to crack a base turret open with just the first Lord. They're still looking for more here. Mid lane is going to be shoved in. I think for Alter Ego, they might want to go for two base turrets. I think soon the ultimate from Kryte will be up again. And you can see he's just spamming it out every time it's available. Just Eternal Guard, everyone backs away, they go for objectives. It's the same plan and it's working great for Alter Ego. Two base turrets, Mirko. Uh, it seems like here One you more must. to go. One more. Top lane now. They are trying to defend this. Oh, take a look at the defense by Alter, by Evos Glory. Oh, take a look at the challenge prediction here. Hmm. Me and Mirko say Barashi opted for the 2-0 sweep for Alter Ego. It's looking good for me, but you know, whenever you see a talent prediction by Mirko, you do want to take it with a grain of salt, right? We know. You know, man. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Pai <laughs> has the immortal to actually go for big engage here, but they might just want to take it a bit slower. They don't, they're not in any rush right now. 12 minutes in, 10,000 gold lead. They've taken two base turrets and they've gone the last one down quite low. 20 seconds for the Lord, so they don't even need to wait that long. They're not even freezing it. They're continuously just shoving. Let's take a look at those items. Well, the gold lead is just very depressing, especially in the jungle. One more item left for Taz to reach his final form. It's probably going to be more damage, man. Let's be real. They don't really have any way to really counter him, to really punish him. That's just the way it is. Now, you see a lot of Radiant Armors being built by Evos as well, by the way. I don't know if that's the way to go. I guess the glowing one, I guess it is a great item. Well, now, of course, it's going to be a free second Lord for the side of Alter Ego. Question is, will they be able to pull the trigger and end the game, right? Evos Glory, seeing their items earlier. Um, Super Red, short two items from being at full. I think they still have a chance here to hold and clear the Lord fast, right? They have a carry, they have Novaria as well. That burst and DPS, good combination. As long as they are still alive, they will be able to defend this one. Oh, base turret gonna go down. Evo's glory, they say we're gonna try to just defend the base. Enhanced Lord in the mid lane, marching down. Bill Thor up, still holding on the demonic force. Fans gonna be chunked down. Eternal Guard in the back line as well. Super Red Force back already so, oh. so low. They know the demonic force still. Explosion out of two, locking him down. But the demonic force still for Vildora, will still not be able to help him survive. That's a double kill picked up by Kryke. And it's a 14 minute end for game one for Alter Ego. Abort, abort, abort. Set Alter Ego in that game. And Evos. Glory.